everybody, my name is the Great Red Wolf Dragon and welcome back to some Clash Royale. Now, um, as you can see I've got four chests, one silver chest in the open, two other silver chests, and a golden chest as well. We have a free chest on the way which is kind of behind my face. The crown chest, that one I literally, like five minutes ago, I just now got all 10 crowns that's how I got all of these and you want to know what deck I used to get the crown chest in under five minutes no joke I did this deck right there in under five minutes I can't say it's under five minutes but it's under 10 minutes I'm gonna say that I got the crown chest and I think I did let's check I did one two three Four in a row. Three crown wins. With this deck. Now obviously, look there. There's a defeat for this deck. But that's one out of five. That's one defeat out of five battles, guys. So I'm going to go through a few replays. I'm going to show you exactly what my strategy is this last one he didn't really put up a fight but he still played if you get what I mean I'm gonna hit this up on two speeds so we can go by a little faster so my main goal in a battle is get the goblin hut down so that it's either get the goblin hut down at the beginning or put the spear goblins down just so they can do a little bit of damage and then have the Goblin Barrel come in and do some damage. And then the Prince is to take out things like... Like that. The... The Wizard. Mm -hmm. And I didn't expect him to... Freeze my Prince. But he has a free spell. I kept playing things. And he didn't have a chance up there. You see he had the Balloon. And his uh, Lava Hound. I kept spamming him. He didn't have enough time to play them. Because everything was coming so fast. That's what I, that's another thing I like about this deck. It has things I can cycle through. Pretty quickly too, if you can tell. And they're, it's fast enough that they'll have to wait to save up for the Lava Hound or the Balloon. Because if they put it down, that's gonna be a tough, it's gonna be tough to defend. When my stuff is coming in hot. So, victory is pretty guaranteed here. He put the wizard on the wrong side. I feel like if he put it to his left, he would have won. No, he wouldn't have won, but he would have defended longer. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Fernando Jubes. Love your name, by the way. This next one is... I can't tell what language that is in, but his clan is a skull. The symbol is a skull. To speed. He had the elite barbarians, um, which I couldn't counter completely, but I did get rid of them pretty good too. The zap I used on that minion horde, they're the elite barbs. I have a minion horde of my own, which I used on his elite barbs and his Volkyria, which I believe is what it's called. I don't know for sure. But that skeleton horde... I wanted to use a zap, but I'm like, okay, I just put minions down, there's no point in doing so. Only one minion got one off, one hit there, so 480, not that bad. My tower's at 1510 on the left. Not bad at all, a little more than half. We've got stuff coming in hot. Our prince is doing some work. He uses his skeleton, I feel like he uses his skeleton army a little foolishly. In this battle. No hate to you guy, but something could have done better. I encountered his prince pretty good. His prince didn't get a hit, but his elite barbarians bar elite barbarians did get a few hits. The spear goblins at the bottom, they're gonna come and do some work. Very slowly, that's why I like. If you leave those goblin huts alone, spear goblins come in, and if you leave those alone. I was going to do some pretty slow work, but it'll take your power down too. 
And I don't know why he put down the Volcaria to counter the Goblin Barrel. And if he did, why did he put it towards the left and not behind the tower where the Goblin Barrel was going? Okay, so that was the third one. Or sorry, that was the second one. We're facing another guy whose name I cannot for the life of me know if it's Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I don't know. But his clan symbol is fire. He's got a P.E.K.K.A. in there, along with a balloon, and a witch. For me, that's just too pricey. I don't, like, the wizard, the P.E.K.K.A., and the, um, witch. Those three things together in one deck, that's a little too pricey for me. I can't, oh, pardon me. I can't get through that easily, but, uh. Yeah, that Pekka was a little bit of a problem in this battle. He put down that he put that down first, which no offense, dude, that's great. Oh, I forgot to put that on two speed. Oh, there we go. That musketeer did some work taken out. That skeleton army could have been put down a little bit faster, but I didn't see I wasn't looking up at his elixir, so maybe he couldn't have put it down or maybe he could have, but Either way. Nobody's perfect. Goblin Barrel coming in hot. Um, he put the Hog Rider down with the Witch and the P.E.K.K.A. Which I was quite shocked because, you know, like I said, those three together, that's a pretty pricey combo. Elixir-wise. But if you can get them all three down, that's a pretty good offense. I don't want to say that's a good defense because it's not really... Other than Pekka having high health. So that was another one. We're going to show you one more. I'm going to show you one more. And this guy's name is Zik Aria. If that's how you pronounce it. He's got a miner. Um, he's got a hog miner deck. With some barbarians in there. And again I use the same deck. But it still worked out very good. Was it this one? I don't know. Yeah, those barbarians aren't gonna get far. Neither is that hog rider without... Yeah, this guy was... Sending in those that has the faces, and I don't know what his point was, because he really wasn't doing much. He really, he honestly wasn't doing anything. The prince got his big impact hit on the crown tower. Those barbarians aren't going to get many hits, if any at all. I don't think they got any. Uh, Goblin Barrel. We have a Prince coming in hot, which I don't think he counters. Nope. I think he realized, yeah, at this point I can't really do anything. But, you know, no hate. Okay, so... That's it for replays. I would do a live battle with you guys, only the thing is... My chest slot is full. And I'm going to show you the cards I have right now. Look at this. Pretty good, right? Yeah? What do you see there? No legendaries at all. And I'm so mad. Because I've been playing this for at least a year and a half. And I haven't gotten a single legendary. What's even more funny... Is that on my... I have a second account that I don't play anymore because it was stupid what was going on there. But I got a Inferno Dragon out of a Silver Chest. Which is mind-boggling because Silver Chests, in a way, are worse than a free chest. But it doesn't matter. I would go back to that account, but I just like this one better. Because that's my original and stuff. So yeah, that's all the time I've got for now. 
Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like the commentary, leave a like down below. Comment down anything below if you want to see anything from me. If anything at all. And uh, help get the love around. Subscribe, share the video. The love needs to be passed around because the world's coming to a dark place. But as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!